Amazon reported earnings last week and the stock climbed by 7%, taking the market value to $1.8 trillion. With $87 billion of cash and investments and $58 billion of long-term debt, the enterprise value is $1.79 trillion. Amazon has invested heavily in its fulfillment network in recent years and is now reaping the rewards. Total revenue in the quarter grew 14% to $170 billion, and this was supported by growth in all of the company's business segments. Online store sales were up 8% to $71 billion. Physical stores grew 4% to $5.2 billion. Third-party services grew 19% to $44 billion. Advertising grew 26% to $15 billion. Subscriptions grew 13% to $10.5 billion. And AWS grew 13% to $24 billion. For the full year, the company delivered $575 billion of revenue and $109 billion of EBITDA. Even more impressive, free cash flow swung from a $20 billion loss in 2022 to over $32 billion. It's that huge swing which highlights a key argument for owning Amazon stock, despite the high valuation. Simply, Amazon uses its cash to improve customer experience, but when it wants to, it can turn off the spending and watch the money roll in. $20 billion of cash made its way to the balance sheet over the last 12 months, and that cash should one day be returned to shareholders. The other argument for owning Amazon is that it's not just a single business. Rather, it's a collection of several powerful businesses which are worth more than the sum of their parts due to the impressive flywheel that the company has built up. And Amazon's scale gives it a huge advantage over rivals. Its fulfillment investments, for example, have allowed the company to improve the number of same-day or overnight deliveries by 65%. It's now surpassed both FedEx and UPS in terms of number of packages delivered. Even so, there are risks to consider. The FTC is suing Amazon and would no doubt want the company to be broken up. And the success of Chinese retailers TMU and Shein show that it is at least possible to make a dent in some of Amazon's product categories. But excluding AWS, the combined operating margin for Amazon's other businesses was just 3.6% last year. With the growth of high margin segments like advertising, Amazon will surely drive even higher profit margins in the years ahead. And it's those future profits that means Amazon is still a compelling long-term buy. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do hold shares in Amazon. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website, freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.